Uh, we took five minutes instead of two. I know like, how naughty. Yeah, anybody would anybody think you like wanted to talk more? Okay. That's an evangelist thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't ever give an evangelist a microphone. Okay. So um, so why can someone shout out to me? Why uh, why do we do evangelism? Just a couple of quick answers. Commission. Commission, so you're saying we're told to do it, so we'll do it? Yeah. 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 Uh, anyone else come up with anything else? Ramsey can't stop himself. Ramsey can't stop himself. Do you think that's that's the, that's the calling again? Do you think? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, uh, the, 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 that's that that's that calling inside you, isn't it? It's like a passion, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Bonnie had some good things. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying that it's it's a command from God. Yeah. That we that's what we need to do. We don't have to try it. Yeah. God says go. Brilliant. Yeah. So 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 it's that commission again, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Got commission and calling. So so just out of interest, when you say the command from God, do you mean Jesus? Do you go from Matthew 28 or do you go from Mark 16? Matthew 28. 28. 28. Oh yeah, you prefer Matthew, do you? Yeah. I prefer Mark's version of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, you know Mark's version of it? I, I, I prefer Mark's version of it. It's a bit more it's a bit more Pentecostal Holy Spirit power sort of style, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that right, yeah? Cool. Okay. So 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 we're called to do it, so we we feel a passion for it. Yeah. We we uh, we're told to do it. How about the fact that my mum might be going to hell? Yeah. Rob Hell, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I care about that person, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Um, how about, um, I don't know, maybe maybe some people, I don't think there's anyone like this in the room, uh, and it's fine if you are this sort of person, but you know evangelists are like the superstars of the kingdom, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are, aren't they? Evangelists are the superstars of the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, honestly. You know, Paul's one thing, you know, but, you know, evangelists are someone else. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's all right if we want to be somewhere else, isn't it? If we want to be a superstar, you know? And if we want to go out and get people saved, because that's something that we're pretty good at, and, and, and that makes us feel good, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Mate, I'm being honest, it makes me... I, I love being a superstar, you know what I'm saying? Yeah? Uh, I, I find a lot of meaning in that. I find a lot of... Like, it, it affirms me. You know, a good father wants to affirm me, am I right? Yeah. So he gives me this awesome job, which is like a superstar of the kingdom. I'm like, yeah, I feel affirmed, man. I love this job. Yeah? Is that right? Yeah. 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 Okay, let me give you my uh, understanding. Of what God showed me this recently, okay? Um, has anyone ever read in the scriptures where... Um, or, or, let's, let's start from the beginning of my journey, okay? So in the beginning of my journey, um, there's this moment about two nights into being a Christian. I, I, I was laying in my bed, crying my heart out. I'm like, why the heck? Would I want to live in this rotten world with all these horrible people who have hurt me so bad? I hate society. Um, before as a Christian, I was an anarchist. I hate society. I hate culture. I hate people. I hate everything. Okay, that was that was my heart. Why the heck do I want to be here? So I prayed this prayer. I said, God, you take me now. I just want to go to heaven. I just want to go there. I just want to do that. I just don't want to live on that. But I just want to go to heaven. Take me now. And I didn't die. <laughs> Yeah, and I thought, blimey, you must have something for me to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, can anybody think of a scripture which says why God might have you here on her on earth? Like, what, 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 why, why, why does God leave you on earth instead of taking you straight to heaven when, when, when you get saved? Jeremiah twenty nine. Huh? Jeremiah twenty nine. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Although we could have had those plans in heaven, you know. Um, the harvest is plentiful. Come on. Harvest plentiful. That's yeah. one good reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another reason, though, isn't there? There's a to be done. Pardon? That's a, a purpose to fulfill. Yeah, so, so yeah, there's, there's work to be done. Uh, how is plentiful? How about this one? To put you through trials <laughs> in order that you might be refined yeah. by God, yeah. ready to get ready for heaven. Yeah? Yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah? yeah. Now, here's my thinking the other day. I'm not thinking about this. I'm running it over because I'm a bit theologian and I like to think. I know I don't look very clever, but I am really clever. Um, I'm thinking this over, I'm thinking, hang on a minute, so if if I don't share my faith as a Christian, that's almost like I'm inviting trials on my life, because there's only two reasons I'll be here, right? Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a, that's a real decent reason to go out and share your faith, isn't it? So you live a more peaceful life. I'm just going to start some questions of you, really. Um, here's another question. I know you all like, man, we need to think about that for like the next three hours. Oh. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that's a good one, isn't it? Okay, here's another question for you. Um, why do we do street evangelism? 
Anyone know what we do street evangelism? Because we're not in church. No in church. Because we, we have compassion for those who are in the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so we might say that's like all evangelism. We, we do evangelism. So, 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 so a different question. What's the difference between evangelism and street evangelism? Well, here's the thing. I believe that street evangelism isn't about getting people saved. I don't shock horror, I'm just, you're, you're like, that's what I brought you here for though. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's street, I, I think it's a rubbish way to get people saved. I really do. Yeah, I, honestly, I think it's the worst way. I've, I've walked around town with a massive nine foot cross on my shoulder, walking around telling people about Jesus. And, uh, and, and then the guy who brought the cross down to me, where every time we stopped, he would, uh, he would, he would like force people to say this prayer. And you know what, right? My wife is a psychologist, and so I know a bit about psychology. She tells me all this stuff. And this is the thing, right? When you're hammering someone with the gospel on the street, okay, what's going to happen is they're going to say literally anything to get you away from them. Yeah. yeah? So as a street evangelist, you go out there, you hammer, 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 say this prayer. It's even written down. It's really easy for you. You go, woo, I've got one saved. Uh, actually, they just walk three steps away from Jesus. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? And sometimes, like that guy, I won't tell you his name, but that guy um, probably felt like because I'd invited him up today to come and lead people to Jesus, that's not why I invited him up for two other reasons, which I'll tell you in a second, okay? But he felt that I invited him to come and lead people to Jesus. And if he didn't lead people to Jesus, then he wouldn't be worth my money. Okay, that's not the case. Instead, what I want to do today when I go out to the streets with you guys is I want to promote the church. I want people to think nicely about church. Yeah. I want people to think, hey, actually, the church is, is, is all right. Those fellas didn't tell me to turn or burn. Those guys didn't force a prayer down my throat. Those guys didn't make me feel awkward in the streets. Those guys didn't make me feel this way, this way, this way. I, I'm actually quite interested in that. Yeah? The other reason is to promote Jesus. Mm-hmm. The Bible says if you lift Jesus high, all men will be drawn to him, and women, by the way. You know, because not sexist, are we? Yeah. But I don't think street evangelism is all about going out there. I, I could go out there today and get about 200 people to say the sinner's prayer easy, but only one or two of them are going to turn to church on Sunday. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah? I'm, I'm interested. I, I, I'm, you know, sinner's prayer, great stuff, wonderful, a decision for Jesus, lovely, jubbly. I, I'm not interested. I want, I want to see someone saved, discipled, released to get someone saved, discipled, released to get them saved, discipled. Yeah, that's what I'm interested in. It's no good just me going out there and getting a lot of people to say a prayer and then not turn up to church. So uh, yesterday, uh, I'm in uh, a YMCA and uh, a YMCA sort of um, homeless hostel thing, and uh, this lad comes up to me and he says, oh, "I'm struggling with drugs. Uh, I really need to be set free." And I said to him, "Well, set free is a really good thing, but do you, would you rather be set free or made new? Because there's two different things. If you're set free," you might carry on and do something else. So you might stop smoking weed, but you might start taking pills because you've been set free from weed, but you know, you still want to get high, so you're going to want to start taking something else. Or you could be made new, so you don't desire to get high anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah? And then I'll explain the gospel to him, I'll explain what it means, why, why the death, why the resurrection, what it means to live the Jesus life. And he turns around and says, okay, I, I want to be made new. Yeah, and so in that moment we're we're praying this prayer, and then I say to him, now, now here's the thing: before we say this prayer, and I pray this prayer of new over you, um, you need to know that the next step is you go to church on Sunday. And he's like, I work on Sunday. I says, quit. Go to church. I said, you need to know that if you make this decision today, it doesn't mean you, you know, you shouldn't go back in the streets and start hanging around with your mates. You go to church every Sunday. You're going to learn about Jesus. You're going to hang around with Christians. You're going to start learning. You're going to start worshiping Him. If that's not your commitment, then there's no point. I'm not interested in the silly prayer. I'm not interested in a, you know, decision. It's a commitment or nothing. I'll tell you what, these people are wanting it. They eat it up. Uh, I think, I think the, was the last time I spoke to you was uh, I, I led another guy to Jesus out in the streets. Said the same sort of stuff. Just, uh, uh, he's, he's going on about his kids, yes, his kids, that, his kids. I said, what are you on about? I said, I said you come up to me because I'm the chaplain and you want to talk about Jesus. Then you're going on about your problems this, your problems that, your problems. So I said, have you, even, have you ever heard the good news? And he went, yeah, well, I know about the death and resurrection and the crucifixion, but I don't get it. So I said, well, let me tell you what it means. So I told him what it means. I told him about it. I explained 
that whole, uh, the whole of basically the history of salvation, you know, the, the handing over of sin and, and the freedom from all that curse and all that other stuff. And then, and then, and then I just said, now, now, you know, that's the truth. Now what are you going to do about it? And I left him for a bit, I went and chat to someone else, and he calls me over, he calls me over, he says, he says, I want it. I went, you want it? You tell me you want to be born again, you want to be made new, you want to say that prayer, you want to go to church every Sunday, you want to worship God every week, you know, every day, you want to live your life for Jesus. He says, yeah, yeah, I do. I said, okay. He said, in that case, let's pray. And we stood outside that same hostel and prayed again in the street, and, and, and he's just there in tears, got smashed by Jesus, wonderful. But here's the thing, the, the point was never that I could get someone to say a prayer, it's that I could make a new disciple. Yeah, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do we do with evangelism? Because we want to make disciples. So, around your tables again, real quick. Um, is that in white right time? Yeah. Okay. Um, real quick, <laughs> uh, two minutes again. Um, around your tables and in your groups, just ask the question, or try to answer the question, what is success today? Yeah. What is success today? What is success for you? Yeah. So by the way, Pastor, I, I know I know you've called me in to get loads of people saved. I hope I will, but I hope that I'll get more people saved after I've gone. Is that right? Yeah. I can train your guys to get people saved after I'm gone. Is that right? It's a quick in that you came for. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. yeah. It'd be great if we get hundred people saved today, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would, yeah, yeah. And and that's what we hope that's what we hope. But I want to get them saved, not to get them to fill out form. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good for that? Yeah. yeah. So what is success for you today? Go on.